In a recent video, I said this about 6.5 PRC. 6.5 Creedmoor and 6.5 PRC are the exact same cartridge. I keep telling, uh, telling people this, and I know it, it's a little bit of hyperbole, right? Because they're obviously not. They have different case capacities. You can put more powder in the 6.5 PRC. So yes, all else equal, it's, it's a more powerful cartridge. Now you would have think I dragged their firstborn child out of their bed and beat them senseless because, wow, that was a little dark. It was like I offended their dog with this thing because so many, I mean, there were a few threads on Reddit and Facebook groups and stuff that I saw I had been posting that video with like hundreds of comments about this, like I had personally insulted them. So I do have some things to say about the 6.5 PRC that really aren't even opinion. We're gonna look at some facts later that might change some minds about the 6.5 PRC and what I actually was saying in that video. But first, let's just look at what the 6.5 PRC is because frankly, it's an awesome cartridge. You can see why the 6.5 PRC is absolutely dominating sales right now for rifles. Because, I mean, you look at a 30-06 and 30-06 is just, a, you know, your go-to standard for plenty of power, for hunting whatever you're gonna hunt. At 400 yards, a 6.5 PRC produces more foot-pounds of energy than the 30-06, and even at 100 yards, they're very, very close. So has some serious power, if our metric is foot-pounds of energy. Then let's talk about recoil. You know, I, I like the 7 PRC. There are a lot of great things about it, but that cartridge has more recoil than what I think most people are going to shoot well. Well, the 6.5 PRC is 35% less recoil than that. Then trajectory. We want something that's going to fly flat, right? Well, the king of this is like the 28 nozzler, right? 28 nozzler is just a laser beam. It's way overbore, shooting very high BC, 7 millimeter bullets with a crap ton of power, powder behind it, right? So that's the standard. Well, out to 400 yards, your 6.5 PRC is only going to drop 3.8 inches more than the 28 nozzler if we're looking at, you know, kind of our normal loads. Uh, Hornady Precision Hunter and Nozzler Trophy Grade, uh, just to get, you know, probably those are the two most popular loads with each one of those. So it's flying incredibly flat in addition to the power and the lower recoil. One of the reasons why it's doing so well at long range is because it's shooting very high BC bullets that are available in most of the loads for it. That makes it awesome for shooting long range. If you just want to go out to the range and just, you know, bang some steel at a thousand yards, man, a 6.5 PRC is fantastic for that. So I actually took some ballistics gel out and we put it at 605 yards and I shot it not with a 6.5 PRC, but with a 6.5 Creedmoor. And so if we take equivalent loads, the same bullets, and say the 6.5 PRC would shoot faster, what we get at 600 yards with a 6.5 Creedmoor, we would get the same terminal performance at 800 yards with a 6.5 PRC, right? Because it's just, it's a faster bullet, but more distance. We're gonna have a tiny bit of difference here because of the rotational energy that would slow down a little bit. But anyway, it's very, very close. First of all, I hit the ballistic gel three times at 600 yards. I was relieved with that. But look at that terminal performance. This is with the 143 grain ELDX bullet. It penetrated a full 20 inch block of ballistics gel and has plenty of expansion in there. Like that thing is ripped up even at very long range. So this thing is impressive as a long range shooter. It, it, it's gonna be very deadly at way past ranges where I would wanna hunt. Then you look at the wind drift. You know, something like a seven mag is kind of our standard that everybody wants to get that reduction of wind at distance. Well, the 6.5 PRC is gonna give you the same wind resistance at 400 yards if we're looking at precision hunter ammo in both. That's incredibly impressive. Plus it has, I mean, tons of factory guns and many, many, many different factory loads are available now. It's everywhere in gun stores. It is one of the most versatile cartridges out there. I think it's a fantastic choice 
for somebody who says, I hunt deer, I hunt hogs, I hunt bear, I hunt odd I want to go long range shooting, I want a gun to do all of that, and maybe even sometimes elk, 6.5 PRC all day long. That's a fantastic choice for that kind of versatility. So look at all the things that the 6.5 PRC does well. I mean, comparing to some of the best aspects of some of the most popular cartridges, that's why the 6.5 PRC is crushing it in terms of sales. We're gonna get to the mean and hurtful things I said about the tender feelings of the 6.5 PRC in a minute. But first, today's video is sponsored by Sightmark. Today, I want to unbox this Wraith Mini Thermal for you. If you have looked at thermals, but the price is just painful. This is one to check out for sure. I've actually hunted with Sightmark thermal scopes in the past. My son actually got his first big game animal using one. And it's a great family memory because it can record it right there on the scope, which is a feature I love to see audio and video. Plus you have 10 different reticles you can just choose from which one appears in there. And sighting in is a really cool experience because you shoot, keep the gun where it is, and you just move the little cursor down to the bullet hole, bam, it's sighted in. It's a really cool process. Check out the Wraith Mini Thermal in addition to their traditional scope like the Presidio that we've showed you in other videos. In a future video, we're gonna show you some images through this. It's pretty cool. Let's dive into a little bit of just what the 6.5 PRC is. It's a short, ish action cartridge. That's talking about the length of the overall cartridge is can go up to 2.955 inches. And so that is the very longest cartridge that we could possibly consider still a short action. So short action, just kind of actions will come in a few different lengths. You might see a mini action but generally most hunting rifles are either a standard length act or a short action or a standard 30-06 length action, right? You might see some magnum length actions like might be required for a 300 PRC or a mini action, something like that. But the way that we're going to measure it is just when you're looking at where the cartridge is gonna come up from the magazine and into the bottom of the action, that inlet there, is how is what our action length is. Now, if we go with the shorter action length, you can save sometimes quite a bit of weight in the action. And so you're gonna get lighter hunting rifles by using the shorter actions. Also in general, if we're gonna go with a fatter case that's shorter, you can, it's usually gonna do better on barrel length than a long skinny powder uh, column of powder. And so 2.955 inches, so it's short-ish action. Sometimes people are gonna load this into a medium length action just to give you a little bit more room if you're wanting to do hand loads. It was invented or released in 2018 and so it's still fairly new on the scene, especially when you consider that it takes several years for a new cartridge to really get out there. And when it came out, it wasn't as if it was a massive change in category in the industry. I mean, we already had the 6.5 SOM, which got nearly identical ballistics, maybe 50 feet per second faster. The 6.5284 Norma was only about 100 feet per second slower than this. And then after this cartridge came out, the 6.5 Weatherby RPM came out, which is almost identical to what the 6.5 PRC is. It just worked in their actions a little bit better. And so that's kind of what the 6.5 PRC is, but what it does, I think, is more interesting. It's really, if you think of it, of a 6.5 Creedmoor Magnum, it, you know, we're gonna get 200, 250 feet per second faster than a 6.5 Creedmoor. And so for those that say the 6.5 Creedmoor is a little bit anemic, that's what the 6.5 PRC was even created for. So let's get into it. Why did I say what I said? Why did I say all those mean things about the 6.5 PRC? Well, first of all, if you've watched the channel for a while, I shoot a ton of 6.5 PRC. I shot that odd ad with a 6.5 PRC. We've taken a 6.5 PRC to, uh, to Africa. We hunted with it deer in Utah last year. We've killed I, over 20 big game animals we've killed with a 6.5 PRC between me and my kids. And so 
I don't hate the 6.5 PRC at all. I think it's an awesome cartridge. Uh, as we talked about all the good things it does earlier in this video, it's amazing. What I was referring to in the last video that set some people off so much um, was really talking about barrel length, comparing the, a 6.5 PRC to a 6.5 Creedmoor. And what I showed in that video, it's not really opinion, it's just fact. If you take a 20 inch, a short barreled 6.5 PRC, and you take the same loads, you know, let's say we take Hornady Match in both, and then take a 6.5 Creedmoor with the same bullet in it, with a, you know, 24 inch barrel in a 6.5 Creedmoor, you're gonna get really close to the exact same velocity. What I frequently see though, all the time, is somebody posting on social media and they'll say, you know, I got my 6.5 PRC, you know, got it's an elk gun, um, and I'll look at it and it's a 20 inch barrel. And then you see those same people talking about how, ah, 6.5 Creedmoor is a weak gun, you know, that's a girly gun. Um, and I think, I wonder if they realize that a short barreled 6.5 PRC is really doing the same thing as a longer barreled 6.5 Creedmoor. So obviously they're different cartridges, they have different amount of powder capacity, but I think most people just don't realize what it is they're actually shooting. And so, do I think the 6.5 PRC is an elk gun? Absolutely I do, because thousands of elk were probably killed with a 6.5 PRC just the last year. It can absolutely be lethal and it can be a very good choice. You know, maybe for my kids or my wife, it would probably be the best choice for them. For me, it may not be what I lean to immediately, but I could see it happening in some circumstances. First though, let's compare the 6.5 PRC to some of the competition so that you can really see what some of those other options may be. So let's look at it first compared to a 6.5 Creedmoor, 7 PRC, 6.8 Western, and the 270. 270 ballistically compared to you know the more common cartridges, a 270 and a 6.5 PRC are extremely similar in bullet drops, in, in just the power that they create, everything. 270 is gonna be really similar to a 6.5 PRC. You'll see at 600 yards, these cartridges are really similar in terms of the drop. In terms of energy, there's a lot of similar similarity between all of them. It's a very capable cartridge and stacks up against many of the other po most popular cartridges today. But if I were to take a 6.5 PRC elk hunting, I would say that it needs certain things to be in place. Where if you're grabbing a 300 Win Mag, I mean, just grab a 300 Win Mag and just about any hunting bullet and you're ready to go, to go on an elk hunt. If somebody's taken a 6.5 PRC, I wouldn't say just pick whatever bullet and go. I'd wanna get it dialed in just right because the issue is the bullet weights are a lot lighter in a 6.5 PRC. I mean, generally 140, maybe 150-ish class bullets. They're a lot lighter. The velocity, can be an issue because if you're shooting a short barreled 6.5 PRC, remember that's basically a Creedmoor. And then the last thing is the caliber. It's just punching a skinnier hole through everything. Okay, Jim, you're gonna have to explain this one to me because you know, I'm new to this gun stuff and you're saying that a 6.5 millimeter bullet isn't quite big enough for an elk all the time, but you go up to a 308 caliber, which is just like 1.1 millimeters bigger, and you're saying that is enough for an elk. That's just like the tiniest difference. How, how does that, Okay, how do, I, it just doesn't make sense. I see where you're coming from. Okay, so it's you know 1.1 millimeters in diameter difference between them. And to be clear, I'm not saying you can never hunt elk with 6.5, that's not it. We're gonna talk about that later. But let's just talk about the difference between 6.5 and a 308. Okay, so, if we put them together, you know, 7.62 millimeters is your 308 caliber bullets, 300 Win Mag, 308, et cetera, 30 out six, right? So the gun manufacturers, they want their bullet to mushroom when it gets into the animal, of course. And ideally they'd like it to double in size for it to mushroom to twice the diameter when it gets into the animal. So it's a bigger cutting, cutting surface as it's going through, right? So let's double both of those numbers. 
So now the 6.5 is 13, the 7.62 is 15.24, okay? But we don't really care about the diameter. What we really care about is the surface area. Just how big, how much material, meat, blood, organs are we displacing when that bullet gets through? And granted, there's tearing outside the, the hole where it goes through as well. But when you see in ballistics gel, like the permanent wound cavity is basically what touched the bullet. And that's what's going to matter, I think, the most. So let's figure out the surface area of those two diameters. Well, 132 millimeters and 182 millimeters. The 308 caliber bullet touches way more material. And so a 308 is 37% more larger of a hole that it's boring through the animal, that's pretty significant. So a 6.5 millimeter bullet can absolutely be lethal on elk. I'm just making the point that there is some benefit to a bigger bullet boring that hole through the animal. So those are the three, three areas where it just makes it less effective on an elk. But we can work through all of those. So first let's talk about the bullet weight that we said is kind of lighter on a 6.5 PRC. Well, what if you choose a really deep penetrating bullet, like a copper bullet or an AccuBond, something like that? Then, I mean, the whole purpose of the weight is to make sure we drive deeply into the animal. Well, okay, let's use a bullet that's gonna drive deeply into the animal. Great, we've overcome that one. A copper bullet in a 6.5 PRC, you'll probably get f two sides full penetration on an elk. So the weight doesn't really matter so much because we can compensate with bullet construction. Okay, then velocity. I've mentioned a couple times, again, a 20-inch 6.5 PRC is a different gun than a 24. And so to compensate with that, well, range can be done. If you're shooting those, uh, you know, a very short-barreled 6.5 PRC, keep your hunting shots a little bit shorter. And then you're getting the same velocity as somebody else who's shooting a little bit longer. And then the last thing is the caliber, and that's the one that we just can't overcome. Um, that it's not going to expand as much, but we're gonna at least get full penetration, and as long as it does expand well, we should do just fine. So in that situation, I would absolutely take a 6.5 PRC on an Alcon, no problem. In a few earlier videos, I'd said that I think maybe 7 PRC is one of the most versatile cartridges out there. I think that's definitely true. But what I've noticed as we've done the milk jug challenge with guys shooting out to 600 yards, as well as several videos where we've gone out, you know, one MOA hoax, trying to get people to shoot one MOA, just watching a lot of average shooters out there. I think 7PRC is gonna to be too much recoil for a lot of people. And so, yeah, I think 7PRC is very versatile, similar to a 7 mag, a 30 aught 6 a 280 Ackley improved, a lot of cartridges kind of in that class. But I'm coming around to the 6.5 PRC possibly being more versatile because a lot more shooters are going to be able to shoot this cartridge well because it has only, you know, 17 foot-pounds of recoil energy compared to 24 foot-pounds on a 7 PRC. That's a big difference in just the shootability, the likelihood to see your shot. It's excellent for deer, excellent for hogs, excellent for bears. It Depending on your load, I think it can be good for, for elk. That's awesome. Antelope, it's perfect for so many different things. The 6.5 PRC should be high on everybody's list. I think it's an absolutely awesome cartridge.